Hello, and thank you for joining me today on Slow Motion Reactions. I am Luke. And Slow Mo Squad, I've got Eruca Sativa, Sola in Los Vares. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I should know what that means. I mean, I do, I, mean, I am learning Spanish, but I don't know what that means. Yeah. yeah. I know, I'm sad. Um, but um, oh, we're going to go and react to them today. Now, before we do, if you could do me a favor and... Um, Hit that subscribe button, along with that post notification bell, so you never miss a reaction coming out. I mean, you guys know that I do quite a few of these on a daily basis. Maybe we can link one that I've done in the past. There it is. So you can check it out and go down that rabbit hole to see if there's anything else that you might want to listen to. Uh, I'm also going to link the video in the description down below. And I do that for a couple of reasons. One is so that way you can watch the video in its entirety, because I do pause it one time, right? The other one is so that way you can uh, link, you can like their video as well. It um, helps out their algorithm to help them grow. Speaking of uh, liking, the, uh, liking the video, if you like this one as well, that would be great. It would help me out so, so much to be able to help help this uh, channel expand a little bit, uh, quite a bit more. And uh, we can get to that 5,000 mark that I talked about before. Uh, speaking of that, uh, at 5,000, I'm going to upload a video of, of a song that I wrote a long time ago. It's going to be a role reversal. You guys are going to react to something that I've done in the past. And I can't wait for that to happen because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But um, um, with all that being said, we got a Ruka Sativa. Sola, sola en los bares. What does that mean? Do they have a translation here? Probably not. No, they don't. Whatever. I need to learn some Spanish. Yeah, I know. All right. So let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, let's see what's going on. I love their sound. The bass player is amazing. You guys, I mean, for all the people who know, who've been around this channel for a while, you guys know there's, when I hear certain instruments, I'm, I go crazy, right? Especially when they're played well. And um, they're two of my favorite instruments to play personally because I do play them. And uh, one of them is French horn. The other one is bass. I love, love, love bass. Um, there's a lot of great bass players that I love to listen listen to on a, on a regular. And... Um, this is, I just recently got introduced to Aruka Sativa. And so um, now that I've been introduced to them, I'm really going crazy over their bass player. She's amazing. Her technique is amazing. Her her creativity is amazing. It's it's She's like a whole package. She's really, really good. And I, and I heard her sing before, so that adds even more depth to her, her talents. And I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I would love to hear more stuff from them. I'm gonna be honest with you. I would love to hear more of this because, like this right here, seems like it's led by bass a little bit more, right? And because if you're using some some uh, some chords, some chord usage off the bass, which normally people, I mean, some bass players will do, but for this song, it's actually perfect. It's it's spot on what she's doing with this bass line. It's really really good. And then her and then uh, not taking anything away from what 
the guitar is doing. I don't know their names. I'm sorry, I don't know their names. And I need to, I need to learn. The only thing is, I, this guy right here, who, who's got two thumbs and is terrible with names, unless it's the band name, this guy. I don't know why. I always remember their band names, but I can never remember the people in the band. I always have trouble with that. I don't know why I do that. But it's weird. But once I hear it a few times, once I say it a few times, then I'll, I'll remember it. But I need to, I don't know their names. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, she's, she's, she's got a great voice. And I love... I love the little the, the, the key progress, the key progression, the chord progression that they're doing right in there. It's almost like a chromatic scale, but in a, in a very small, in a small function, right? In a small amount. And so um, I love it. I love it. And her her voice is changing right along with it, and it's and it's so laid back. It's so groovy. It's you know it's it's like it's like funky rock, you know, and there's a little bit of a pop feel to it, and uh, a slight bit of a jazz feel to it. I love it. This is like really cool stuff to listen to. I love it. All right, so uh, can I say I love it again? Right? All right, so uh, let's finish this up. Awesome. I think that might have been requested because I did mention about the bass name before. And so I think somebody might have done that. Like, you want to hear a good bass line from them? This is it. Well, this is a great bass line. I absolutely love it. I love, love, love this song. Really, really cool. Um, this is a great suggestion. Great, great suggestion. Matter of fact, um, I'm subscribing to them and I'm going to make sure I like that. And if you could do me a favor and like this video, and uh, don't forget to share the music. Sharing the music means sharing the love. And um, yeah, and if y'all could, more stuff like this, like this, you know what I mean? Like with the bass and with the, with the uh, and with me going yay. And so uh, if y'all could go ahead and comment down below anything that you want me to listen to, but more of this, <laughs> that would be, that would be fantastic. And um, thank you so much for the suggestion. I really do appreciate it. It was a really good one. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And uh, you guys take care. Peace.